going to have to be smart. We're not going to look over our shoulder anymore. There's some places that I finally have gone to and said, I'm not coming back to see you anymore. I have apologized. You know, I've practically gotten on my knees and begged you to come back home. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm done. I had a text one day and said, oh, my God, you need to call somebody because they're not going to run for re-election or they may be switching parties. I texted them back and said, I am done. <laughs> if they want to switch, let them let switch. Them switch. <laughs> if, they can, if I can beat them, I will beat them. But let me remind all of us about a good friend of mine who made a terrible error in judgment, and his name is Howard Hall. A former FBI agent, a former state legislator, a respected man in Montgomery, a good man, goes home, elected as a Democrat, drinks the Kool-Aid, stands up and says, well, I find that my principles are more like the principles of the, De of the Republican Party. His wife is on the state Democratic Executive Committee. She resigns, he switches, and what do those great American Republicans do? Like, they eat their young. They threw them off the ballot. But they <laughs> you know, they waited, they were smart because they waited to qualifying was over before they threw him under the bus so that he couldn't come over here and qualify the Democrats, but we weren't going to invite him back anyway. So, uh, great judge. I have nothing about him personally other than to say good things, but I do not have time to sit down anymore and beg people to stand up and be a Democrat. If you want to be with me, that's great.